What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio, back at again with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be reacting to another League song that you guys have requested highly, and that song is... We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. We interrupt this program to bring you another installment of Sad Boy Hours. I will be your host through this journey of the fields. You will cry. I will cry. We will cry. <laughs> Not but for real though, guys. Today, we're probably going to be a bunch of sad boys sitting around our sad boy campfire because, I mean, the name of the, the video we're reacting to is literally The Curse of the Sad Mummy. That paired with the fact that everyone telling me that I should react to this said that this song is sad, like really sad, makes me think we're probably gonna be in our fields. So if you don't have some tissues, I mean, that's your fault. You you clicked on this video knowing what you were gonna get into. Don't, don't blame me, blame yourself. I have no idea what this video is going to be about. On the thumbnail, there is a like sad looking little chibi mummy. I'm assuming that is our main character based off the title. And I don't know, maybe this is a story about how he became a mummy or what it's like to be a mummy. I, I have no idea. These Riot Game League videos are always, I never know what to expect. They're always different. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. Everyone who told me that I should react to this said that it's more the video itself than the music. So if you want like a super in-depth analysis of music, go click on one of my other mini league reactions. Um, so I'm probably gonna be focusing mostly on the video today, but we'll see. I talk a lot, so it'll probably be a little bit of both. In the meantime, definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that, stick around on the channel because we will be reacting to lots more stuff. If you have anything else that you would like me to react to, definitely don't hesitate to leave it down in the comment section down below. And I'll see you on the other side, guys. Peace. child in Valoran has heard the tale before About the cursed mummy boy who felt his heart no more So sad and lorn, the helpless lad, Amumu was his name Wow, okay, first off, um, that transition was bananas Like the, the sand to the forest, great great second off this this forest is beautiful it's giving me a lot of tim burton type vibes but wow this this animation is so different like so different than a lot of the other league videos i've reacted to not to say that they're all the same obviously they aren't but this one's like really different yeah i like it a lot i'm yeah, I was not expecting this. Hopefully my boy don't get ate on by that like shadowy wolf, but we'll see, we'll see. He ventured out to find a friend and learn about his bane. Okay, I don't think there's a combination that is more beautifully sad, yes, beautifully sad, than pianos and violins. Like, oh, oh. If that doesn't hit you in your feels every single time, then I, I don't know. That's pretty cool, it's like a Spider-Man type you know, but using his, his mummy cloth, cloth? What, is, what is that? I know there's like 
an actual name for it, but I haven't taken history in a minute. Yikes. But he just got on the moon kind of like the... Is that DreamWorks? Is that the DreamWorks emblem? Oh, you guys are going to be so mad. I didn't know that. Okay, so I've noticed something, and I don't know if I'm bugging or if it's just a stylistic choice, but it seems like everywhere he goes, minus the, the moon sea section, but in the forest and now here in this meadow? That, I don't know what this is. It seems like everything around him is withering and dying. If you look in the bottom left corner especially, it's all like shriveling up and like becoming blackened and dead looking. And if that is the case, whew, that's sad. It reminds me a lot of, uh, gosh, the Electra movie from, yeah, cause I don't know what year that, it, that was, 2007? Yeah, you guys can look it up. There's a villain, a female villain in that movie, I think called Typhoid, um, but don't quote me on that. And she has a similar ability where everything she touches dies it's like that that uh the king who everything he touches turns into gold midas king midas uh but with death so dark um and there's a scene in that movie the electro movie where she's walking through a forest and everything around her is withering and rotting and becoming blackened in this super vibrant green setting that is what this scene reminds me of as He's walking over, touching a plant, and it's like, I don't know if it's it's symbolically curling away from him to like show his loneliness, or if it's like legit just dying and withering next to him. But either way, that's dark. <laughs> like, yikes. For many years, young Amumu traveled through the land. Determined to make friends if only they would understand But even when Abu stood upon the ledge of home His hope would oh, disappoint oh. him and he would remain Bro. alone But then the curse began to whisper in his ear it would confirm what was Amumu's biggest fear It pledged that never shall someone become his friend No! 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 We are not letting him be forever alone, right? You are not doing that to me! This is... No! No! Bruh, I know y'all did not recommend me this video to watch this adorable little mummy die. What? What in the... What? What? Did he like kamikaze explode? Is, is, that, what, is that what's happening? Wow. There's, there's so many symbolic references to depression here that it's uncomfortable. We... We are uncomfortable. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. 
So he didn't actually die. He just kind of spazzed and destroyed the town. That's not much better. That's, 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 nah. And he's crying? Oh, bruh, that's, mmm. Supposed to be some words here, guys. That's, I'm supposed to be saying something witty or something, but oof, that, my edgy boy heart is, is, is hurting right now. That's, yo. Okay, all right, here we, here we go again. Here we go again. The anger and the anguish overwhelmed his fragile soul and caused a wicked tantrum that he never could control. No, no, if you said... Bruh! Why? Why is that the ending? What? Why is there... Oh! Alright. Alright. <sighs> wow. Of all of the League videos I've reacted to, that one was by far the one that impacted me most. That was... That was intense, dude. As someone who obviously has interest in things that aren't normal, the whole feeling alone thing, I get it. It can happen. It's happened to me. It's happened to people I know. So if you need someone to talk to for any reason, I'm just going to leave this here. If that's not you, that's cool. Uh, if you know someone who might need these. But as for the video, uh, that was... That was, wow, wow. That is that is the, the best thing I can use to describe it. The video and music were so perfectly intertwined. I love that every time he went to a new setting, a new instrument was introduced. He started out in the desert and he had the pianos, then he got to the forest, no, no, no. He started on the desert, there was no sound, then he got to the forest and he had the piano, and then he got to the like sea with the sea monster and the pirate ship. And then the violins came in. Then he went through the moon out of a flower into a meadow and a flute came in. And then he went up on the ledge, which he eventually fell off the cliff and drums came in. And then all of that came together in the moment that he spazzed. Uh, and destroyed the town, village, city, whatever that was. And that was just so powerful and symbolic that in those moments, that it's it's not just about that moment, it's all of the things that have led up to that moment that cause said action. Wow, I can't believe he didn't get a friend at the end of that. I was, I was so ready for this dude to to get a friend at the end of this did, did he ever get a friend i need to know that in the comment section down below i need you guys to tell me what ha where does this story go after this because wow that was that was intense the the curse being so symbolic of depression was disturbingly accurate they packed a lot into that video amumu is now my new favorite character in league i liked a lot of other characters but i feel like this character's story is so relatable especially to the kind of people who would come across it that oh this is this is an important character to exist i just wish that at the end of that there was like some happy ending i'm definitely gonna end up watching this video several other times just to see what other stuff i ended up missing because in reactions like these you always miss something but yeah, that was, was crazy. That was I was so not what I expected. Anyway, if you like this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, share the video so other people can see it. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.